We use a method called the modified emery method, locally called two sticks and a string. We're going to go out with a data sheet. We also take a sketch of the beach. It's pretty easy to go snip, 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 take a few photos, but this actually makes you think about what the beach looked like. That boardwalk is no longer there. So in front of that was all of the Glacier Bluff, and when there aren't a lot of storms, there was actually a sandy beach in front of it. The tunic's a very fast eroded shoreline. That is, this is the pre and post sanding. So the position of the shoreline retreated 23 feet in one storm. Things got reset, there's a firm, everything's nice, fat, and happy right now, but the whole thing has shifted landward following sand. And it'll happen again in the next storm and the next storm. So I think we should get out of measures of profile. What do you think, Rob? Sounds good. Okay. And beach profiles are used to uh, see what, how the volume of the beach changes over time and the shape of the beach changes over time. What we're doing is not regulatory in itself, but it, it's is used to uh, make and enforce regulations. Don't worry, you drive all close to the stick, but don't worry about the numbers here. Put your thumb right here and just slide down into your thumb. The top of Rob's stick and the horizon are all lined up in a straight line. I'll be dumb stick for a while. We call that the smart end. This is the dumb end of the stick. It's here for what it is. Okay. Right I got minus 22. Okay. And then you go just to the other side of the fence? Yeah. Nothing's going to keep the beach from eroding because it erodes during storms. It's been eroding ever since sea level arrived in its present position, at least 2,000, maybe 3,000 years ago. And then it, with the uh, Industrial Revolution, sea level started rising faster. So it, so it picked up since, uh, since about 1850, and it's rising faster and faster. But that doesn't in itself cause beach erosion, but it allows the storm waves to break up higher on the beach. So that so that would cause erosion further further inland. And that's that's a problem.